welcome back. There's been a long break in between now and when the last time I checked in here on YouTube and I'm excited to be back. Merry Christmas, all of the things. Currently today, it is December 27th. Hopefully I get this posted relatively soon from when this is so that it like makes sense. As you can see behind me, we've just got like Christmas is everywhere in this freaking house. It, like I said, has been a little bit and so I just thought I would check in. I took this entire week off of work. So this last week of the year, I don't have to work. Um, kids actually just went to daycare a little bit ago. House is pretty much chaos and so I wanted to just do a video and um, kind of normalize like the hangover that hits us after the holidays, especially with kids. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through a day where I've got the day off, getting things together and going from there. many toys we were actually talking like right before Christmas about how like man we got to consolidate and, like get some toys like put up or give them away or whatever um, donate them and Christmas came and we obviously got so much more stuff and so my thought process is because like so many toys come in like little sets or whatever you know like a little Lego set so I think I'm gonna get some bags off of Amazon to like put toys together and then like put them up or whatever into the closet and then like every week can like bring out something new or different or you know on the weekends have some different toys out because otherwise like they've got all of these toys right here and they just see them all the time and then they're just so used to seeing them that they don't even really want to play with them so like this big basket right here is full of toys it's not like they don't dump the basket out all the time same thing with that one there but it's not like they're like excited and want to like really play with them so I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna get some bags off of Amazon today sort of like organization and like put them up because we have let me show you we have this thing over here little like four square well, well other way four square um deal <clears throat> for organizing but to be honest it's like pretty much full already so yeah we need to do that we're in the process right now of thinking about getting a house because right now we're still we're in a house but we're renting <clears throat> and we're just in like the upper level of this house so it's a three bedroom and then like dining area turned play area and then the living room obviously so we're thinking about, okay, do we want to buy a house, get some place a little bit bigger, just to have more space? Because obviously as the kids grow, we're just gonna have more and more things. I think right now we're probably at the time in life where like big stuff and like toy, that kind of stuff is like taking over. I feel like we're in, we're like deep in that phase right now. So it'd be really nice to have some space. I think just as they get older too, it'll be really nice to have more space. Not only that, but we have our our bedroom and then Enzo is still sleeping with us. He just turned a year and he's still sleeping um, in our room in his crib. Well, you guys, he's co-sleeping pretty much. But anyway, so his room is like in with me and then Olivia has her own room and then we have the office. And so Enzo doesn't really have like his own room or his own space. Not that that's crucial, they could definitely share a room. Just for sleep purposes, I would rather them have their own space. And then as they get older too, since um, boy and girl, I would rather them have their own space as they get older. Now having way more stuff in the house, I think we're thinking even more about 
okay, how probably need to get a, a bigger place. So, random thoughts. had originally planned not to do like anything today because it's Monday I've got the entire week off the kids are at daycare because yeah I have days off and I'm sending my kids to daycare because having your kids at home is not a day off and if you're not a parent even if you are a parent and you don't agree with that um you might as well just not follow this channel at all because I'm all about taking care of me or you first so that you are able to be a good parent. Um, anyways, not the point. I was really planning on like not doing anything, but I also know myself and I know that if I try to relax today while there's such a mess in the house and whatever, I was not gonna be able to like fully relax. So for me, it was important to recognize like, okay, if I'm gonna relax, let me really relax. And that's just not gonna be today. I need to like clean up a little bit, get it semi-organized, because otherwise all I'm gonna do is sit around and think about how disorganized it is and that's not relaxing. So that's where I am on that. Just trying to take today to get some stuff done, still take care of me, of course. So like my skincare, I have to focus on it. Otherwise I won't do it. And if I don't prioritize this time, I will just get really crabby, right? Like I think we all know that when we don't have time for ourselves, we, do not feel our best, right? We don't feel good and we can't rely on other people to make us feel good. So we have to decide what do I need in this moment to be able to feel good. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to just like survive through my days. I want to like thrive in my days. And some days that's harder than others to do. Like some days it can feel impossible, feel good. Like it can feel impossible to, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get through this? How am I gonna get through my day? Whatever it is. And it just comes down to, for me, it comes down to awareness of, okay, pause. Let me think about like what my body is really asking for in this moment and doing that in any capacity. So if my body is asking for rest, okay, what kind of rest? Is it a nap? Is it sleep? Is it a massage? Is it whatever? So like knowing what that is and then doing that, even if it's five minutes, even if you don't have the whole day off, okay, well, what can you do today? Like we have to have that moment of pause and that's the hard part, right? Is that moment of pause, of checking in on ourselves. I got this for myself for Christmas. It's like a little like face massager thing. Um, it's supposed to like tighten and tone. I don't know. I just grabbed it at Marshall's because I was buying other people gifts and decided to buy myself like way too much stuff. Um, but it was at Marshall's, right? So I spent like actually like 20 bucks. Um, but I got myself a lot of things. So I'm going to have... Hopefully, I like this. It's just like a little massager. And again, it's supposed to like tighten and tone. I've seen like more expensive ones, like the ads on Instagram and stuff. This was like $7.99. So probably not the best quality one, but sometimes I feel like, okay, they're doing the same things. Why is there an $80 difference? I'm 
not sure if this one will be like an everyday thing or maybe just like on the days I've got time or weekends or what, but honestly, if nothing else, it feels good. Okay, now this is one of my favorite things. I really don't know how to pronounce anything. It's gaucha, whatever. And that was just like a facial, that was just like a facial oil, whatever. I don't know, Marshalls. But I love this thing to kind of just like, you just like do a little gentle strokes, scraping a little bit. I've been doing this for probably, I don't know, like a month. And I honestly see a really big difference when I do this. I follow a couple of like face yoga, like Gao Sha, whatever this thing is called, um, Instagram people. And some of the like, I don't want to even call it like before and after because it's like a 10 minute difference but like you know after like 10 minutes of gao sha these people are like looking so much younger and like fresher and alive and honestly I just feel like even right now compared to a couple minutes ago my skin just feels it feels good my face feels more like alive and I like to follow it up with the roller oh. I know I still have bags under my eyes because I haven't slept in three years, but I look more alive, I think. Okay, and then I finish it up just with like a regular moisturizer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna change clothes next here um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the gym or not yet today I have not decided if I want to include that in my in my day or if like the rest of the day I'm really just gonna truly relax um, but I should probably decide I like to um, like on days that I am gonna work out I like to put my like sports bra on and that kind of stuff on like earlier just as like that constant reminder of like yeah you're gonna go work out in a little bit or whatever because honestly I love exercising I love working out like it is my oh, it's my time to relax it feels so good on my body then not only like in the moment but like afterwards whatever so I know some people don't love exercise and I think what that means is you just haven't found like the type of movement that feels good to you yet. And so I would just encourage you to continue to try, um, give things a chance to like really set in. But anyways, that's not the purpose of what I was going for here. Anyways, I'm trying to decide right now, like do I wanna put on like a workout outfit to like do things around the house here still so that I go to the gym later? Or do I just wanna kinda keep it like more relaxed I think I'm gonna like meditate on it for a second <laughs> and like relax so we shall see <sighs> all right I'm gonna put on some workout clothes I feel like I um am one of those people who and I think that most of us are but I'm one of those people that like really like once I'm in motion once I'm motivated and going like keep that fire going so I just feel like even by like doing a little bit of picking up around the house putting the Christmas tree away because I'm kind of a Grinch and I'm sorry but like December 27th like it's not Christmas anymore put the tree away <laughs> I'm one of those people that like once I'm in motion, I'm in motion, 
And I know for me to like take advantage of that, finding balance, right? Because that can create like an anxiety cycle for me of like, well, if I'm gonna get that done, I should get this done and this and this. So I have to chill a little bit. Again, that like moment of pause. But right now, since I do have the week off and I am feeling a little motivated, I'm gonna put my workout clothes on if the time comes and I don't feel motivated to go, I'm not going to feel pressured to go. I'm at that point in my life where like, and in my fitness and wellness and health journey that I'm able to just check in with myself and say like, no, I don't feel like working out today. For me, I know that I can do that because I know I'll get back to exercising. It's not something that I'm worried that I'm going to completely fall off of. Okay, great example. So like in the past I've done vegetarian I've probably gone vegetarian oh my gosh like six seven times maybe more um, and I'll have like spurts where um, I eat plant-based and I absolutely love it but it's one of those things where like if I stop for like over the weekend if I'm like you know what oh my gosh I really want XYZ wings or whatever it is if I stop it's really hard for me to get the momentum to eat plant-based fully again Again, when it comes to exercise, I'm able to do a little bit more like, Meh, I'm not going to do it today. Where when it comes to nutrition, that's a little bit harder for me to like really stay on like more of a regimen. I hope that makes sense. So I think it's just important. My point being is that I think it's important to recognize where you are in your journey and finding the balance that fits right now. Because... I am not all for like an all or nothing mindset. I don't think that that's healthy in any way, shape or form for anything really. Um, even if you're quitting smoking, like going cold turkey is really hard and typically not successful. So small baby steps in any way, shape or form of whatever you're doing to build to your end goal. Yeah. So. Again, just know where you are in your journey and honor that and don't think that you should be somewhere else just because I am or because your friend is or somebody you follow on Instagram. Know where you are because that is what really matters, okay? That's at the end of the day. What is going to help you be the most successful is if you know where you are in your journey, okay? Okay, let's get dressed. Okay, so quick pause for a story time. So I have had just a little bit of a cough like this past week. And so <laughs> I took like tons of COVID tests and came back negative. So I was able to like still spend time with my family, just was masked, whatever. <laughs> but So yesterday we were just home all day with the kids, whatever. And... I was like, oh my God, I need to like take some cough medicine. And I haven't taken medicine literally since I got pregnant with Olivia. So I haven't taken medicine since besides like, you know, the constipation medicine and Tylenol that you get like right after you give birth. And um, I'm on medication for postpartum depression and anxiety. Out and birth control. <laughs> so, oh my God, I'm taking a lot of medicine. But... Outside of that, I haven't taken like your basic like cough medicine, whatever, since 2018. So apparently I like forgot what medicine is and what it does. I asked Troy, do we have any cough medicine? And he says, I don't know, you'd have to look in the closet. So I go in the closet and I pull one up and it says like cough medicine or whatever it says on there. I didn't think anything about it. And it's like, take the uh, however amount every four hours. So I took some in the morning and was like, oh, okay, whatever. My cough was better. It was fine. It was morning. I was a little tired, whatever. At like the four hour mark, I took some more and because it helped my cough significantly. And then I was like, oh my God, just like dragging. And <laughs> both of the kids went down for a nap. And so, I, I mean, I like had to nap. I was so exhausted. I literally laid down and like passed out cold for the entire time that the kids slept. So for like probably like two hours or however long it was. I got up and then at that point it was the four hour mark again. 
so I took some more medicine and I was like, oh my gosh, Troy, this is like helping a lot. And he was like, did you take NyQuil though? Yeah, I took NyQuil, not DayQuil. I took NyQuil. That's why I was so tired, but I had just taken some again when he asked, did you just take NyQuil? And it was like six o'clock. So prime time of like after dinner and getting ready for bed and snacks and everything. You guys, I was so tired. I just, I literally laid on the couch and Troy had to do everything. I mean, I could barely move. And Olivia just kept saying, mommy, you need to rest. Mommy, you're tired. Mommy, your back hurt? Your back hurt? You have owie? Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I didn't think about it at all. So yeah. But anyways, I am an idiot and I feel kind of groggy today, but that's why I'm going to drink so much water. On top of the fact that I've had a lot of coffee this past week too, just, you know, feels good. And like I said, it's like a Christmas hangover. So I feel like we just, cheers, girl. We need to drink some water. We need to clean up our space a little bit. We need to eat good food and we need to move our bodies today. It's so important. Let's do all of those things and be in control of what we can be in control of. Let's feel good to the point that we feel good, but let's not feel the pressure, right? Let's not feel pressured. Let's just do it because we want to, because I want to, and I think you want to. So let's do it, okay? Let's just freaking do it.
Okay, so I just got done with my workout. God, it's cold. Anyways, my gym just, I go to the Planet Fitness um, in my town and it, they just like relocated to literally like across the street, but it's so much bigger than it was before. Oh my God. Like just coming from someone who has worked in a gym literally their entire adult life until just before the pandemic hit being in a brand new gym just is the nicest thing in the entire world it feels so good like everything is clean oh beautiful anyways locker rooms are great like clean so so nice so if you know me and you're in the same area as me that planet fitness that just moved over here it's awesome anyways there is like when I pulled up, I was like, oh my God, because it said like Planet Fitness parking only. And this parking lot, you guys, it's like worse than a grocery store the day before Thanksgiving. Like it is packed. I had to like drive through a couple things to like find a spot. And I realized as I parked that it's a COVID testing center, like right next to where my gym is. So it's like the entrances aren't close together, but they're like in the same parking lot holy shit there are so many people like it is just like a flood of people like going in and out so like if you're going to get covid tested over here today like even if you came in not having it you're probably gonna leave having it with like how many people are going in that place today oh my god so i'm assuming it's one of those situations where like okay we got together over christmas oh turns out somebody had covid that whole time Oh, which that would suck so bad. Anyways, I hope that's not you because that would really blow. But anyways, I think my car's warmed up now. So I'm going to go home. <laughs> on the couch for like an hour and a half. It was lovely. I ate leftover pizza. I had some candy. I had some Christmas candy. And it was beautiful. Yeah, so that's a wrap of my day. I am about to go pick up the kids now from daycare, dinner, all the things. And I'm feeling pretty good. I'm super excited about this week off to just relax got plans tomorrow to have lunch with my girlfriend the next day on Wednesday I have a workout class with a girlfriend and then at her studio and then I'm gonna be meeting up with my mom for lunch and shopping so I'm just really looking forward to this week to do some things for me that's been like I feel like the theme of my life the last few months is like how can I take care of me like what what do I need and it's been feeling really good. And I'm proud of myself for that. Um, I'm proud of myself for finally putting myself first. If not first, uh, I'm tied with the top priority. And it feels really good. So yeah, I'm really excited about this week. Anyway, I hope that you are having a great day. I hope that life is going well. I hope you treat yourself today. Just remember to focus on the things that make you feel your best. Focus on your fitness, your movement, 
your nutrition, focus on your wellness, your lifestyle, and your sleep. All of those things go into how you feel every single day. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel strong. You deserve to feel powerful. And you are enough. And you are worthy of taking the time to do those things for you. Sending you love.